All right, kids. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why I'm in my car doing this, but I picked the mail up. I was on the way out to get the car wash. I was going to drive to Austin tomorrow. And I thought, hey, let's see what's in the, in the package delivery container. And sure enough, there was a big old box of something. And it's GMT's Panzer North Africa. Single biggest module I've seen so far in terms of box size uh, and weight. <laughs> uh, it's uh, uh, robust is what I would call it. Anyway, welcome to the big board again. Uh, I'm going to be very careful and try not to knock stuff over. But I've already opened the box up a little bit and got, got started here. Uh, if you've not played Panzer before, uh, I have a small handful of videos that will explain 98, maybe, well, okay, okay, maybe 95. Well, all right, 85% accurately that um, how you uh, conduct a fire action uh, with all the advanced rules and all that sort of fun stuff. And I've got some commentary uh, videos that might give you some clues and insights. Uh, some of the things I, I like and dislike about the system. Uh, it is one of my favorite, I'll call it squad level and certainly individual tank level games. I enjoy it immensely. It, it's got a, a big minis feel to it. In fact, I've actually played a scenario with, uh, I think, one 285th is what you would call it, scale uh, minis. That was kind of fun, but, you know, kludgy. I, I'd just rather use the counters because uh, you have the counter right behind it, right? So now we've got, we got we double it up on stuff. So uh, anyway, let's... So I'm not going to talk about game mechanics here. If that's what you're looking for, go look at some other stuff on my video channel or go find some other wonderful YouTubers who have probably done far more comprehensive and detailed uh, videos than uh, my good self. So a bunch of maps, uh, I think, what did I say? Three, I counted them before. Four, five, six. Six, video, uh, six videos. Six maps, double-sided, so that's 12 maps. Now, here's one of the different things uh, that we will see in the module, and we're going to look at some of the maps in a sec, but uh, there are uh, terrain tiles, and they're uh, quite uh, large, some of them. They're like whole villages, uh, roads and streets and things, uh, expansive gullies, and more, uh, you know, like hills and different terrains and wadis and, you know, stuff, right? So... There's a good uh, six sheets of that. I'm going to put that them over there. That's an interesting and new thing. You're going to recognize, other than the color palette for the clear terrain, you're going to recognize the palette. Unfortunately, you know, let's see if I can find one that uh, has got some here, hills on it. You'll, it. It's immediately recognizable. It's the same palette, uh, Eastern Front what I call the Eastern Front palette. Um, everything's kind of an orange-brown color, and then you've got green for trees and bushes and things like that. So uh, nothing new under the sun that I'm aware of there, but certainly some nice-looking maps for sure, uh, just in terms of the uh, geomorphic nature of them all that we'll, we'll be able to mess around with. Um, there are two, there are a handful of vehicle data cards, tow data card, aircraft data card at the backsides have your uh, advanced rules for uh, keeping uh, track of hidden units and all that sort of fun stuff for both sides, so both sides can have one. And then all the counters, I, I don't know that we need to sort of delve into them, but you know, leaders are now becoming more and more important in the game, and they can actually make a difference, uh, particularly in the infantry actions. And that's one of the things people kind of get uh, uh, dismissive with about Panzer, the system, is the infantry game uh, and I I think if you're in a mechanized combat centric system you want the infantry to do what it's supposed to do which is be uh, that support role and uh, provide the appropriate level of uh, support and uh, fire and all that sort of fun stuff and, and what, what, what is the infantry supposed to do move from cover to cover do close assaults do some suppressing fire uh, get in you know get into those malaise and whatnot and you know they're either in cover or out of cover and that's basically it this is not that game where you're going to uh, attempt to pick up a satchel and run down the street and throw it right it's a uh, it's a different different uh, focus and i don't mind that i don't mind the infantry uh, rules at all uh, clearly the focus generally speaking particularly in the world war ii 
uh, modules is, is pretty heavy on the uh, heavy on the uh, armor. All right, so all the British tanks, I think that we could probably uh, imagine from Matilda twos to Stuarts and Crusaders and Sherman threes and Grant ones and. Uh, obviously, everyone knows if you've seen uh, a, a, a module before that the backs of the counters will have different uh, vehicles on them. So we've got A10s and Hummers and uh, A9s and all sorts of good fun stuff. Uh, you probably can't see those very well because of either the glare or the way I'm holding it and the way the stand is. All the little cute little Italian. Uh, tanks, the M14s, which are just adorable. You just want to hug them. Uh, and, uh, you know, AT guns and trucks and or portees, as they're called here. Uh, and the M1340s as well. Uh, they're at the top of the screen here. I think you can see one right there. So, groovy tooby. Uh, so, there's two, three, four sheets of counters, five sheets of counters. Here's all the infantry squads. Uh, and the, there'll be um, supporting weapons and bits and pieces, mortars, etc., machine gun units, and then uh, one, two, three, four sheets of info markers. So we're going to pop that over there. Two of these. Uh, these are. This is. You're going to play it. You, you, you can probably do everything off this once you get comfortable with the system. Uh, it's a uh, dual-sided fold-out, uh, thick cardboard stock. Uh, set of charts so uh interesting new things of course uh dust I'll show it to you here dust is now a gp uh, uh um, modifier and dust will also factor in on terrain i imagine yeah here it is here terrain dust it gives it the its height height i should say and other uh, impacts in terms of cover etc uh, etc et and now, I don't, I'm sure I just missed it, but I don't recall seeing a minefield effects uh, table before, but I'm sure that's uh, just me not paying attention. And let's see if there's anything unique in the hand to hand modifiers. Doesn't appear to be. Nope, close assault modifiers. Nope, nothing unique or specific there to. Oh, AP, AP hit modifiers as well. It's going to have a dust uh, category, so that's uh, groovy tooby. Now, here's another thing that's interesting and new. Uh, the rule book has been split up into basic and advanced rules, and that's going to clock in a uh, case based system, big index in the back. Uh, that's going to clock in at uh, about 60 pages of rules, 61 pages of rules. And I have found these rules to be very clear. If you know, you know, you go straight to the index or to uh, the table of contents at the front, which is point-based, very detailed, uh, you will find what you're looking for very quickly. I'm going to guess, based on every other module I've played, that these rules, other than the dust stuff and maybe, uh, maybe some differences for command, uh, that they're gonna play you know, the rules are going to be 99% exactly like the original Panzer release that came out uh, a few years back and uh, like the MBT system, right? Exactly the same. So you, so if you've played it before, you're going to know it. You're just going to need to deal with, well, let's have a look, you know, deal with the exceptions that uh, are Africa-based. So uh, just trying to see if there's anything here that I can catch my eye real quickly because you don't want to look at it sit there staring at an index forever this is all basic game stuff anyway so that's not going to be in the basic game small arms yeah I'm not sure that I'm seeing anything that's substantial terrain features here we go dust page 30 sun blinding uh, there's another that's something new as well so that's page 30 we can go have a look at that in a sec uh, sharing available commands, that's, I think, pretty standard. Yeah. Let's go to page 30 and have a look. There's another page of uh, index over here. Uh, aircraft will be affected by dust as well, I bet. I wonder. That'll be something to look at. Um, 
I haven't really played with aircraft very much. I've used RT and other things, but not uh, not aircraft. Okay, so it'll be actually, and it's also going to be cool to see how the 88 millimeter guns uh, feature and function. What did I say? 30. Page 30. So here are the dust. Let's see what it says about. Uh, yeah, look, it's one paragraph. Uh, dust may be created as vehicles move across the arid landscape found in North Africa. <laughs> and then to create a dust, vehicle must move half or more of its movement. Only uh, applies when entering clear brush path and track and scrub, yada, yada, yada. Use a directional hex as a point of reference. And uh, bits and pieces. Sun blinding is a condition representing the difficulty of looking directly into the sun or setting sun. It's only applicable as specified in the scenario of special conditions. Okay. And there's an effect for that for AP and GP mods. And uh, Bob's your uncle. And that's the, that's the significant difference. All right. Uh, and then you've got the optional rules in a separate rule book, which, you know, uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, it doesn't really bother me one way or another. I'm not going to look in here to see if there's anything different uh, or substantial. I don't think just yet. We can probably uh, handle this. Why is this car pulling up next to me? I'm all the way over in the parking lot by myself. Go away. Playbook. Playbook. Hang on a second. Playbook. Okay, so this is kind of the, uh, just the descriptions of, this is uh, normally, I thought this would be in the scenario, at the front of the scenarios, but it appears that there's some substantial, oh, designer notes from Jim, and then uh, looks like they've got solitaire rules in here as well, so if you really want to jack around with that, you can. Uh, VPs and enemy, enemy, vork, uh, blah, 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 blah. enemy locations, and then how to just do a regular two-player or multiplayer scenario and that okay so that's all just how to how to set a game how to set a scenario up a toe manual awesome if you're you know matter what game you're playing you can look at this and go oh well what was the uh, 1941 or 1942 toe for a tank brigade or a battalion or whatever the case may be for all three sides involved and then two scenario books crazy times crazy times people and these are huge 66 pages on this bad boy 68 on this some paper bits in the back i wonder how many scenarios that there are now i gotta look oh a metric ton starting at 47 through oh there's a campaign game how about that action north africa campaign game see that it's uh one two three four five different scenarios there 47 through 61, so that's a bunch. I'll let someone do the math on that. And then the second one is another swag, uh, 62 through 78. So there's another 12, uh, sorry, another uh, 16 scenarios there. Substantial, heavy. Then you've got all the data cards, and uh, I don't know that we, we need to pull all those out because I am in the car. Uh, I guess one thing is different. You're going to get four dice this time, not two. I believe in the past there were two, but I may have been wrong. Maybe wrong on that. We got all the Italians. You know, everybody's here. Everyone gets their own data card. They're dual sided, um, so everybody knows what's going on. Really, uh, you know, first glance, impressive set of uh, components. I'm a fan of the system, so I know I'm going to enjoy this. I'm a fan of the uh, uh, the African uh, campaign and the uh, effort that, uh, not the effort, and the, the actions that went on there. So I'm, I'm no doubt going to enjoy this a lot. I hope if you have acquired a copy, you shall enjoy it as much as I will. You know, it's funny whenever you pull this stuff out, you never let me get it all back in exactly the way it came. Let me see if I can get the box lid down. There you go. GMT Games, Panzer, North Africa, stunning box art, beautiful, uh, lovely work. And I'm glad to see uh, GMT Games pushing out some uh, decent and continuing to push out, I should say some decent war games for us and uh, hopefully that will continue in the future. All the best.
go roll some dice.